Well, good morning, everybody. We're out here in Somerset, and if you can't tell, we're at the O'Reilly's Auto Parts. While we were driving into town, I kept hearing a little clunking coming out of the back. I pulled over and found one of the bolts to my shocks fell out. So, over here, AutoZone getting some new hardware for it. I'm gonna try to jump under there and stick it on real quick. Well, we're finally out here again. We got the Suburban fixed. Now you went and washed it. Put a quick polish on the wheels. Ain't looking too bad now, since it's all nice and cleaned up. We're not even gonna make it over to the show probably, because we're getting right ahead to the family reunion, but still wanted to get it cleaned up. So at least it looks good when we're cruising around later. Dad made it down with the 37. He says it did all right. They weren't too far behind us. Just got everybody over here checking out the baby and we're gonna load up and head to the over to the reunion and then maybe uh catch back up with you guys when the cruising starts if we make it over to the show see if i can't film a little bit of that if not we'll catch you guys when the cruising starts made it out here to the summer nights cruise after the family reunion and there's not a whole lot left here but i think we're going to take a quick walk around and check out and see the things that are here so i guess let's just get out there and look at some cars while there's still some cars left before we head back to the strip to watch some cruising
stayed out for a little bit last night, but uh, things were getting a little wild and called it an early night. But we're gonna head down to Tennessee this morning, but wife's not feeling the best, so she's gonna crank her seat back, and I think we're just gonna head on back home and find something else to do. I think Dad and them are gonna do the same thing. They, uh, we're gonna go visit some more family, but the weather is just really crappy. It's raining and it's uh, cold, so I think he just wants to head on home because he doesn't like getting the car out in the rain a whole lot. He doesn't like driving in the rain, so I guess we're just gonna head back to the house and we'll catch you guys then. finally back from Kentucky we got back in yesterday about midday I was pretty tired after we got in so we just went ahead and unloaded the truck and put stuff away got little guy inside got her inside got her starting to feel better we got the Suburban clean back up this side isn't the good side the fender and the doors are peeling clear coats peeling on them but this side isn't rusted out like the other side I hope to, throughout the rest of the summer, do some body work and get this thing for paint maybe this winter. This is the side that shines. We just have the rust hole here and a little bit of rust here, which we're gonna be taking care of those real soon, I hope. I couldn't be more proud of this thing. It did great going down the road. The only thing is I've still got a little work to do on the air condition. It was cutting in and out a little bit and I put more in it and it still was cutting in and out. I got a buddy who, I'm gonna have uh, suck the system down and put new free on it and everything, and hopefully that'll take care of it. Uh, I'm sure some of the stuff is leaking, and if we start having more problems with it, we'll start changing stuff. You know, we can put a new uh, evaporator, condenser, we'll put new hoses on it, and if we have to, we'll put a new pump on it. I mean, I want this thing to be just as roadworthy as her Denali here. You know, the wife's got 2015 Denali, and I would like the Suburban just to be just as reliable as hers. That way, we won't have a problem taking it. All the kids will be comfortable. We won't have to worry about the air condition cutting in and out. So it'll just, it'll take some time, but we'll eventually get there. I do think I am gonna get bigger tires for these wheels. I like how much they bring it down to the ground, but the RPMs are way up there. We're running down the road. We're having to run 85 to run 75 miles an hour, and it just ramps this thing up. I also didn't know this thing had such a big fuel tank in it. I'm gonna have to go through the codes in the glove box and find out exactly how big this gas tank is because when we were filling it up, I did not expect it to hit 40 gallons of fuel and it wasn't empty when we got there. So I don't know how big this tank is, but it's huge. I mean, we only burned uh, between coming home and running around a little bit today. We've only burned a quarter tank of gas, but that's just crazy to me to think this thing has such a big fuel tank in it. But we are home, glad to be home, but wish that we were still on the road. I enjoy being on the road. I like traveling, I like riding. I like going from here to there. Sometimes that's my favorite part about going to car shows is the journey there and the journey home are some of my favorite parts. So I like watching vehicles get used. It's just, you know, I love watching dads 37 go down the highway in the rain and in the in the sun it just looks awesome it just 
if you got a hot rod or or a truck or whatever it is man get them out and drive and put some miles on them don't let them just sit around you know i don't know how people enjoy stuff just sitting around i i can't enjoy it unless i'm getting to drive it so i just everything we build will be a driver you know and i keep talking to the wife that once this is done the way i like it i do want to start on building another 32 roadster and it will get drove the same as anything else you know my last one i drove all the way to tennessee i drove all the way to kentucky i never had a problem jumping in it and going and that's what i'm gonna build again is another roadster hopefully in the next year or two we'll start building that and bring you guys along for that too so i think this is going to be the it for this video it's a very short video this week but uh we got a lot of awesome things coming up for you guys so I appreciate everybody liking and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do pre give one of the videos a like. Check out some of the older videos we got from when the rod run. You can go back to last year when we went to Somerset. You know, I appreciate everybody, and uh, you guys just go do that. We'll keep hot rodding, and we'll see you guys later.